Um, so far, I've been taking the class of theater and design, and so far we're working on stagecraft, which is a term we use it for. We kind of correlate where the things go and where somewhere something is going to be visible to the audience, and if the audience has to see it or not. So it's a it's a 200 level class, and so it, and it's called uh, the fundamentals of stage technology. Um, the first part of the semester, we learn names. We range from a lot of tools, going from like handheld to a screw, simple, something as simple as a screwdriver and going to like a bandsaw or like a jigsaw or a saw saw, which is like insane as to how many tools you use. You would think just maybe you would just use a couple, like a ratchet or just a screwdriver. I find it uh, uh, important to have, as a designer, to have that background as a builder, and as a builder to have a background as a designer. So they they both they both feed each other. Stage design is where you kind of have to correlate something that's kind of safe for the performers and for the play and how it's going to correlate to the story. And it's really essential as in you kind of have to, you have like a limited space of what you could do and what you cannot do and you kind of work around it. And it's really, it's, if you think about it, it's really insane. In terms of building, when, when the students are really proud that they made this, you know, and they, and they realize, I, I didn't think I was capable of welding that ladder. Uh, you know, it seemed like a daunting task, but you just teach them the basics, uh, and then they also have aha moments. And so I'd love to see that. If you have a little, little, in, little spark of interest in what uh, the theater, theater does, if you're interested in, uh, in drawing or sculpture or performance, uh, taking taking one or two classes might might really uh, uh, might suck you in. Uh, that's a, that's what happened with uh, with what I did.